dogs. Man's best friends. Or are they? Yeah, yeah, I reckon they are. Dogs can be good. I mean, look at this cute little boy right here. Oh, isn't he so cute? Don't you just want to pat him and, and love him forever? But, unfortunately, they can also be bad sometimes. Hey, stop eating all my socks and shitting on the bed, okay? You're such a bad dog. You're such, you're such a naughty dog. Naughty dog? Naughty Dog is one of the premier game development companies in the world right now. And no matter your thoughts on their games, especially The Last of Us Part 2, you must admit that nobody developed a game quite like Naughty Dog. They are in the top echelon in regards to graphics, animation, acting, writing, gameplay, sound design, etc. This means that when you play a Naughty Dog game, you know you are getting incredible quality and care in every aspect of the game. Now since The Last of Us Part 2 came out in 2020, there has been a lot of speculation and anticipation about what their next game will be. Well, speculate no longer guys, as I, Ronan Hall, some random dude from Australia, has the answers. Okay, I do. Okay, so, in full honesty, I don't know exactly what game it's gonna be. Like, I don't know if it will be, like, the next Uncharted game, or The Last of Us Part 3, or an entirely new IP altogether. What I do know, well, what I have a massive hunch about, is what type of game it will be. Now, believe it or not, between the release of Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us Part 2, Naughty Dog actually released another game. It's called Uncharted The Lost Legacy. People probably forgot about it because when they announced it, not even an hour later I reckon, they revealed The Last of Us Part 2 for the very first time. So The Lost Legacy was pushed to the backs of people's minds, and it's a shame because it's a really good and fun game. And it is the game that I believe has the biggest insight into the style of Naughty Dog's next title. In Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us Part 2, Naughty Dog began experimenting with a more open approach to some of the levels in those games. Madagascar and the first section of Seattle both have large open areas that the player can explore rather freely. You can drive or ride around to different locations in the level in whatever order you want, encountering groups of enemies and discovering secrets. However, they never fully went open world. There was still always one proper path you had to go on in order to progress the story. And while you could explore those areas, none of them were essential to the story. And I say essential in quotations because some of the areas were essential, like when Ellie was playing the guitar to Dina and Sam saying that well joke. Well, well, well. <laughs> so it's obvious that Naughty Dog was experimenting with their level design, trying to see if more open world like levels would work for their types of games. They didn't fully commit to it though in those games, and this is where Uncharted The Lost Legacy comes into play. The majority of the game is set in this massive open area with multiple paths, areas and secrets to find. Now you're probably thinking, but Ronan, that doesn't sound too dissimilar to what Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us Part 2 did. What the hell are you even talking about? And that's where I go, um, actually it is quite different. Let me finish my thoughts and sentences before you jump to conclusions, alright? Not only is The Lost Legacy's open area much larger than in Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us Part 2, it feels like it was always designed to be an open area. Don't get me wrong, I love the open areas in Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us Part 2, but they feel like they were originally designed to be a normal Naughty Dog linear path before being expanded upon. The area in The Lost Legacy was never just a Naughty Dog linear path, and you can tell that by the multiple areas you have to explore. If you don't go to all the essential areas in this open level, you will be stuck there with no way to progress the story. There is no one path you can just go straight down to get through it. Sorry speedrunners. The whole area must be explored. There is even a side quest you can complete. That's right, a proper side quest in a Naughty Dog game that's not just picking up items and notes. This probably isn't the final form of a Naughty Dog open world type game, but it is certainly an evolution coming from the larger areas in Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us Part 2. The Lost Legacy is basically Naughty Dog experimenting and going all in on an open world type area, and seeing if that design can mesh with what they're famous for. High octane action spectacle, as well as quiet, character driven moments. And you know what? It actually works. I had a lot of fun with this game. I mean, I guess that's to be expected. It is an Uncharted game after all. Fun is basically the game's middle name. So based on this very astute and amazing observation I've made, I've come to the conclusion that Naughty Dog's next game, whether that be The Last of Us Part 3, a new Uncharted game, or an unknown IP, 
will be an open world type experience. And if you don't believe me, just listen to the developers at Naughty Dog describe what The Last of Us Part 2 was originally going to be like. In the first like four or five months, the game was actually an, kind of an open world uh, inspired by Bloodborne. Bloodborne had a very sort of an open space that sort of kept getting bigger and bigger as you explored. I really like that feeling that you get of mastery over the world. And so that was also something we were looking at. It obviously didn't work for The Last of Us Part 2, but Uncharted The Lost Legacy is proof to Naughty Dog that an open world can work for their games, and that they don't have to sacrifice what makes their games a Naughty Dog game for it to work. And that's why I think, no, I know that their next game will be exactly that. And if it's not, then this video will look pretty dumb and outdated. So if that's the case, fuck you Naughty Dog. You made me look stupid on the internet. How dare you?